There are currently three general pore structures used for sequencing and research for the nanopore. Alpha homolysin, MSPA, and graphene. Alpha homolysin and MSPA are often embedded in charged lipid bilayers and have a diameter of about one nucleotide from a single-stranded DNA molecule. This small diameter allows a strand to be moved through the pore in single file order. The process begins by creating a charged membrane that spans the length of the nanopore. The charged membrane creates an electric field in the pore that drives ionic movement and inward motion of the DNA. The strength of the field can be adjusted to create a stronger or weaker gradient to further facilitate movement. Oxford Nanopore identifies the order of nucleotides by measuring the disruption of the applied potential. Each DNA base that passes through the pore has a characteristic disruption of current. A DNA enzyme complex is also used to unzip the DNA as it passes through the pore. Then by using those specific disruptions in current, the order of bases in the DNA strand can be determined. This is an explanation of the min-ion system's physical construction. The sample is added to the port, from which it flows over the sensor chip into the flow cell. The flow cell is covered with individual electron channels. On top of the channels are a membrane studded with nanopores. As the DNA flows through each nanopore, its sequence is recorded. Now, just to recap, the DNA is pulled through the nanopore by the difference in potential, and as it goes through the unique changes in current caused by each nucleotide are interpreted by the min-ion system to produce a sequence.